okay guys today we learn about third okay before you learn this chapter or subtopic you must know a uh, perfect square perfect square is like 2 times 2 become 4 3 times 3 9 16 25 36 and 49 and then you need to know how to simplify it for example like uh, square root of 8 one of the number must uh, perfect square so perfect square will be 4 4 times 2 square root 4 become 2 and then square root 2 still is the same so this one we call it simplify or 32 32 must 16 because 16 is the perfect square all right so 16 times 2 is 32 and then square root 16 become 4 square root 2 still become 2 so this chapter this sub subtopic already you know actually in the junior uh, for example like square root a b we can write it like square root a times this one is called times huh? uh, square root b and then when square and square root meet together so will be delete or eliminate so the answer will become a only and then this one divide we can separate it become like this all right and then what actually we call it rationalizing here we cannot have square root so you need to times the same number to eliminate it so square root b times square root b become b and then a times square root b is still the same you put it together okay this one you call rationalizing if the number got two like this square root b plus square root c we need to eliminate it or rationalizing also so how if got two term here plus here we times negative both negative up and down if negative here we times positive okay we using this concept uh, a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b okay we go to example like square root 32 minus square root 50 if the question asks you to simplify it uh, 32 is 16 times 2 50 is 25 times 2 and then 16 and 25 is perfect square make sure one of the number is the perfect square okay after that you simplify it uh, six, square root 16 become 4 square root 2 still the same we copy down and then square root 25 become 5 square root 2 still the same we copy down all right now they are both is light term square root 2 and the square root 2 is the same species or we call it light term so we can minus 4 minus 5 become negative 1 so you just write negative 1 uh, 1 no need to write down so it's negative square root 2 and then how about this one okay they give you this one this question and then before that you need to simplify it 18 will be 9 times 2 and then square root 8 is 4 times 2 make sure you put bracket here two we put outside this three we put outside 32 is 16 times 2 3 we put outside uh, square root 50 is 25 times 2 make sure one of the number is the perfect square square root 9 will become 3 square root 4 become 2 uh, square root 2 square root 2 you just copy down 16 is become 4 square root 2 you copy down uh, square root 25 become 5 square root 2 you copy down now number outside you type inside 2 times 3 6 3 times 2 6 become uh, this one become 12 uh, and then this this one you just copy down okay all right make sure it's a light term yes they are light term because all is square root 2 so you just plus it 6 plus 6 plus 12 and minus 5 and the final answer will be this one 
How about its fraction? Fraction you can separate it become like this square root 3 over square root 2 times this one. Alright. This one actually only times square root 3. Okay, square root 2, no. Uh. So <clears throat> this one times this one, what you get? You see, 2 times nothing, write it down 2. Square root 3 times square root 3 become 3 only. And then this one, we need to eliminate this one or delete it. We need to rationalizing. So up and down times both is square root 2. This one becomes 6. 6 times square root 2 becomes 6 square root 2. And down here is square root 2 times square root 2. You become 2. 6 and 2 you can simplify it. So the final answer will be 3 square root 2. Okay, how about this one? Uh, before we continue this one, make sure you know this concept. Huh? A bracket and then a plus b square outside. This is a shortcut how to uh, expand it. a square plus 2ab plus b square. If the minus in the middle, here will be minus. Alright, so this question is a minus, so we're using this method. Alright, make sure you know which one is a is and b. So this whole thing is a, this one is b. So we're using this formula a square we put bracket square which one is a this one is a 2 square root 3 we put inside 2 a b is mean 2 times a times b 2 you put it down this one is a we put here b is square root 2 we put here uh, you just skip the negative because here you already negative represent it and then b square this is a b so we put it down now we simplify it. 2 square become 4. Square root 3 square. When square and square root meet together, will be only 3 only. This one, this dot is called times. And then how about this one? 2 times 2 become 4. Square root 3 times square root 2 becomes square root 6. Square and square root meet together. So only 2, 4 times 3 is 12, all the thing you copy down, so it's 12 plus 2 become 14, this one you just copy down. Okay, how about this one? This one you need to rationalizing, so you up and down, you times square root 10, square root 10 times square root 10 become 10. This one, when you times, because I've got two term here, square root 10, you need to time this one and this one, both. So the answer will become 20 square root 10 and then 10 square root 20. Why 20? Because here, two, uh, square root 2 times square root 10 becomes square root 20. All right, now we can uh, cut or we simplify it. Make sure when you want to simplify this one, uh, make sure it's uh, left hand side and right hand side can simplify together. If one of them cannot, it means you cannot simplify like this. So 10, you cut it, 10 and then cut 20, become 2. And then become 2 square root 10. And then this one, uh, this one is square root 20, you put it down, this one no more. 20, you need to simplify it. 4 times 5, 4 is perfect square. Square root 4 become 2. Square root 5 still the same, you copy down. And then make sure it's light term. Yeah, no light term here. So this is the final answer. All right, we continue up, uh, this one. Yes, we need to rationalizing. Negative here. So when you times is a positive, both are up and down. So we, we're using this concept, a square minus b square is equal to two bracket. One is positive and negative. So how to time this one, right? This one times this one, both is a positive number, same. You put it down, so it becomes square. 
all right because uh this one time this one one is negative and positive it mean they are same concept here all right so there will become a square and minus b square so which one is a this is the a this is the b so we put it down this is the a make sure you put square and then this is a b we put it down make sure it's square so it's the same concept with this one uh square root when the square root meet the square will be gone so only can get three square root two meet the square delete so become two and then here we using the formula still remember formula if the plus here and bracket square we using the a square plus two a b plus b square all right this is a this is b we put that down and then here three minus two will be one actually you don't need to write already and then here square after that will become three two times square root three square root two will become square root six uh square and square root meet together so only write down two and then last one three plus two become five this one no need to write and then this one you just put it down and then make sure cannot simplify yes no more so this is the final answer